Good afternoon from a beautiful Malta. I wanted to do a book review this month in the form of an article review and here's why. I've been here all week delivering training to a client and in particular the focus this time was on sales. And one of the exercises that I used, uh, among many, but one of them was an article from the Harvard Business Review and it actually came from September 2016 called What Does Your Customer Really Want? So I wanted to review this for you because I do believe that this resource, and that's what I'm going to call it, is immensely useful. What it does is that it gives you the elements of pyramid, sorry, the elements of value pyramid. And what this does is it breaks down what people want into functional, emotional, life-changing and social impact needs. Now, what does that really mean? Okay, let's bring it back to basics. Ordinarily, people will pay for something if it saves them time, if it saves them money, if it saves them stress, or if it saves them worry. And I came up with that rhyme a good few years ago when I started giving training in uh, the sales related area, specifically in the area of financial services. The thing is though, is that actually we buy for many, many other reasons. And often when we're very close to a product or very close to a service, we don't quite know how to articulate it in terms of benefits. And all of the best trainers in the world and the salespeople in the world, they'll talk to you about benefits as opposed to features. But it can be hard, it can be difficult in order for people to make that jump. And I have to say I felt the same until I read this particular piece. So I'm going to give you an example. Um, down here uh, at the functional element of the pyramid is we pay for things that save time, simplify, reduce risk, organize, etc. And there's lots of examples we can think of with that. But what this article makes the point about is that we don't stay with anything for just those reasons. Instead, what builds sales and thus retention is emotional. So this is where we pay for things like something that reduces anxiety, that rewards you, uh, or is something that gives you therapeutic value or wellness. Now, as we go further up though, when we think about why do people want to pay lots and lots of money for something, even though it may cost an awful lot, maybe like driving a certain car, staying in a certain hotel, buying a certain house, etc., is all due to the life-changing elements of the pyramid. So for example, it's due to self-actualization, it's due to affiliation or belonging, and it provides hope. And then if you think about the very, very top, so think about this, some people spend not years, but decades giving their, giving their children a better life than they had. And in fairness, I have to say, in to great credit to my own two parents, they did the same for me. So what is that? And why is it that people are willing to work so hard to do that? Well, that is, what the, what the pyramid calls here tra self-transcendence is when you can transcend, when you can actually go higher than your own expectations. So again, just to make this concrete, because it's important as opposed to just a great article that I actually put it in context. This morning, I walked about, it's about two miles in this heat, um, over to a shop called the Soap Cafe in Malta. Now I have been going there for years, okay? It's an absolutely beautiful shop. It sells soap, it sells beauty products, it sells treatments, it sells side candles and so on. But I walked over there today because I know the owner, I know what she stands for, and in fact, uh, some of you may have met her through our Savvy Women podcast. It's Charlene from the Soap Cafe, as I mentioned. So in terms of the, the elements of value pyramid, why is it that not alone would I go and pay with money but also pay with time pay with effort and pay with and by the way i do this every single time i come here so i'll tell you exactly why based on this okay so number one of course it does save me time because i know exactly what i want and always when she knows i'm coming she creates for me exactly what i need as well uh, i won't go into that <laughs> but uh, she has she did a load of products there for me ready today that she knows based on say my allergy to mosquito bites based on my skin type and so on she has it all there she knows that i often have very little time when i'm when i'm calling but it's not just that it is the fact that there's wellness in there and there's therapeutic value in there also, her, the, just the, the feeling of the shop as you walk in is just wonderful. And also, um, from standing all week, I could feel pain in certain parts of my body, which is kind of natural when you're standing in heels all week, all the time. And she knew exactly what to do along the way. So therefore, she hit every single one of my emotional, um, emotional elements of value. And Soap Cafe provides all of those. The thing is though, is that it's not just that. There's a couple of other things that I go for, and one of them is because I know her. 
and I know as I say what she stands for and she stands for cosmetics with a conscience so therefore in her case uh, one of the one of the points here in this pyramid is is affiliation or belonging is that in order for me to express that view in my own purchases I know that I can help the environment by shopping there so therefore that is the reason that it's not just convenience and it's not just because I like the products but because it is it is much higher than that and the other thing as well is that whenever I go into Charlene's shop I know her story any of you that, uh, that that's on this page from Malta you know that Charlene went through a very difficult period in her health uh, quite some time ago and, um, and she's such an inspirational character I mean she's expanded the shop now she's studying a master's in business now and um, she has restored her full health now so therefore to me I like supporting that and I like catching up with her and that is also self-actualization as, as the case uh, in point here so to bring this back and to bring this article review to a close I think this is really really helpful for people who are in business and don't necessarily know how to sell their products or sell themselves um, or often hear people talking about features but don't quite know how to translate them across to benefits. Believe me, this is a read that might take 10 minutes uh, that will give you the language for that. And I did that with all of my groups this week. Every single one of them, I went through this particular article with them. Uh, the other thing as well is that it teaches you the difference between the first sale and retention. And it shows you that as you progress up the, the pyramid, you can become more and more retentive. And then it also helps you to stratify your benefits. So maybe it is that you're selling your product because it saves money. Well, actually, that's not the reason people buy. They buy the product because it reduces anxiety, for example. Or maybe because your value set actually aligns with somebody else's value set and you enable them through their purchase of your product or service to express that. So on that note, um, I, it's, it's been a piece that I have referred to many, many, many times. And as I say, it's, it's on this, this particular Harvard Business Review, which is what does the customer really want? Just in case you're thinking, hmm, I don't sell to customers. I sell to businesses. Well, the great thing is, is that the Harvard Business Review wrote one solely for businesses. So this is uh, the April 20, March, April 23rd, sorry, March, April 2018 one also has the B2B elements of value as well. So I'm going to put the links uh, here in the post so you'll be able to see them. Of course, they'll be in, in the blog as well so that you will be able to find whatever it is that, that you may uh, be interested, whether it's whether selling to business or selling to customers. I'm telling you, both of these articles are an excellent, ex excellent read, but they're a resource for you, for your sales team or for anybody that you know who may be wondering if they're selling the really the right things. So on that note, and I'll be heading back to Dublin now shortly as my my flight's going tonight. I wish you all the very best and have a wonderful weekend. Bye.